Hey, what's going on, everybody? In this one, we got an announcement of two NBA Top Shot packs coming up. So for this video, we're going to take a look at both of them, the first look, and see if we think these are going to be EV positive packs for the most part, or maybe even all of them could potentially be EV positive packs. So we're going to take a look at that for the WNBA base set pack, as well as the and then there were four pack for the NBA Conference Finals. So we're going to start out with the Conference Finals look. And they haven't actually announced the pack contents for that or for the WNBA pack, which is coming in less than 24 hours now. I'll talk a little bit more about that, but I think it's just kind of weird that we don't know the contents yet and it's coming up in about 20 hours from now so if they're trying to build any hype around that it really would make more sense to me to announce the pack content so people can like look forward to what they're getting to and get a better idea if it's going to be an ev positive pack or not but i'll try to put that out tomorrow morning for the membership of the channel if you want to get in on the spreadsheets for the channel price predictions, things like that. Join the, the channel channel membership here and I'll be posting those spreadsheets in there for you guys as well as another giveaway for June coming up for people in there. So definitely check that out. It'll also be linked at the top of the description of the video. So first let's take a look at the and then there were four pack. So this one's $89 which seems steep but we'll get into some price comparisons in this video. $89, you get six moments per pack. Uh, one of them is going to be a guaranteed rare, and then there were four. Five of them are going to be base set moments, obviously with a chance to hit some 12K moments that are debuts or 4K rookies. You guys can take a look at all the airdrops. It's going to be a lot of the finals for airdrops for this pack. And then the description here, so only 3,200 packs so pretty limited, and I'm going to get into that a lot in this video, but I like how they're making them limited packs, and it seems like they're probably going to be positive EV, so if they are, definitely people are going to be thinking I'm missing out on these packs. That's one of the things in some of my previous videos that you guys can check out that I talked about what Top Shot can do to get more people excited about it and into it. It's just have guaranteed positive packs and make them pretty limited so people feel like they're missing out by not getting in on this and basically there's three priorities so you guys can check those out as well to see which one you fall into based on your score and that's actually right here so 100,000 plus 20,000 plus and then actually zero for the general queue. And these, and then there are four moments are out of 750. So now we're gonna go take a look at the marketplace to get some pretty good price comparisons for this. So $89 seems like a lot. A fairly good comparison, I think, is the metallic gold set. So let's take a look at that set from series three. Obviously we're still in series three. These are all minted to the same amount, I guess one less even. But you can see the lowest here is just $36. So obviously, if you're getting random moments like this, they're going to not be worth that much. But something that people didn't think about is, is it's probably gonna be the top players from each team, either one or two for each team. And I mean, if you're looking at them, you could probably get like a Jason Tatum. I mean, even if you're looking at not a top player on the Celtics, let's see what Marcus Smart's uh, metallic gold here. His is $100. <laughs> so looking at this Marcus Smart, for example, on Evaluate Market, the metallic gold here from Series 3, you can see all throughout the playoffs, this one has basically held value of at least... 85, I guess, was the lowest sale in the last 30 months, in the last 30 days, and it has gone up since they've made the finals. So at least through the finals, this one is going to hold its value, I believe, uh, in, a, in a then there were four, for example, and you could even see when it peaked up pretty high. So I think these are all going to be pretty good moments here that you can pull. So that's already a good one. I mean, we can look at Draymond Green. His is not even like... A, a maybe the third or fourth or fifth even most sought after from the Warriors and his is 114 right now 
So it seems like basically anything you pull from the finals players is going to be positive. Obviously, if you look at someone more sought after like Steph Curry, his is 400. So his is obviously going to be worth it if he has. And then there were four. Some other players from that series. I mean, maybe you can hopefully get a Luka. And a Luka actually only has a challenge reward metallic gold. But his would definitely be worth it. From the Heat, we have a Jimmy Butler here. His is still 89 bucks, so I think it's another. And then there are four. It could be maybe even a little higher than his his metallic gold, and that's at 89 dollars right now, which is break even. So to me, right now, it seems like anything you pull, as long as they do Luca and Butler from the two losing teams from the conference finals, and then any one you pull from the actual conference finals teams, should be positive pack value, unless they go two heat players and two mavericks players and it well, that's like the only reason we're not we wouldn't see a positive pack value in my eyes right now looking at and then there were four series two i think that they minted a lot more players than they're going to this series so you had one two three just from the clippers Hopefully they'll keep it at two, maybe even one, it seems like, based on the number of packs they're dropping. So right now they announced they're dropping 3,200 of these packs, and each pack has one. So that really only works out to like four or five, and then there were four rare moments. But they could be holding off a good amount of these to add to the legendary finals pack. So I think it's going to be less than they did for series two, but... It still could be one or two, even from the losing teams. So my initial reaction before looking at the actual pack list is this is going to be an EV positive pack, no matter what you pull. And I think that's just really good and awesome for Top Shot users to to see that uh, on the platform if you can actually make money with these packs still. So next we're going to take a look at the WMA base pack coming in just 21 hours. And the first thing I want to note, still no pack contents that we can see for this one coming so soon. I think that's just kind of a mistake on Top Shot's part. I mean, they have ample time during the beginning of the regular season of the WNBA to put together these moments and the pack list. I think it's just kind of a little frustrating that they don't announce this a little sooner. But we're here, and basically what you have in here, you're going to get three moments. There's three star rookies out of four thousand, top dot top shot debuts out of six, and then commons out of just eight. So really small addition sizes. That's honestly looking good for NBA top shot come series four. If we can see something similar to this, maybe a little higher they might go on on their commons, maybe ten K, fifteen K, and maybe a little higher on their debuts as well. Another thing that they did really great on this that I like is the number of packs is only 17,000. So I would assume more than 20,000, maybe even more than 30,000 people are going to be lining up for this. But it's going to be even more limited than this number indicates here. And that is because if your top shot score is over 10,000, you can get two packs. If it's over 25,000, you can get three packs. And we're going to scroll, okay, it doesn't show my top shot score at the top of the screen, but it is 43,000 something, and I know a lot of people that are these uh, diehard NBA top shot users and fans have scores a lot higher than mine, so 10,000 is nothing, 25,000 is barely anything compared to a lot of these collectors. So again, hard to gauge how much this $9 is going to get you for these three moments because we don't know how many debuts are out there or 4k rookies and the percent chance that you could pull them without this pack content list but to me it seems like this one as well as the end of the number four are going to be guaranteed ev positive before we know the contents of these and the reason here is because let's just take a look at some of these moments so these ones all minted out of higher even though there are debuts or just Three dollars, but these are minted out of eleven to fifty as the floor here. But if we look at the archive set here, these are out of five thousand, and they don't have any badges. And the floor here is four dollars. So if you remember, the the commons are out of 
8,000, so a little higher than this. I can see the floor on those being $3 for some of the less sought after players, but then on here you only have five of them at four and then it jumps up to $5. And I think we're gonna see a lot of debuts in this that could be four or $5 as well. So I think your odds of, of hitting a uh, common with no badges are gonna be pretty low and those are be at three. So if you do get three of those, it could be a break even pack. If you hit a debut, I think it's gonna be a positive pack. And then it obviously if you hit a 4K rookie, it is going to be in even higher EV on on this pack. So we don't know the pack contents, like I've said a few times, which is a little frustrating. This close to the drop, but uh, it seems like these are going to be positive packs as well. So if I'm so since my score here is 25,000 plus, you can see up here it's 43,000. I'm thinking I'm going to just be opening three packs if I get in on this queue. But out of 17,000 packs, it's going to be hard to hit the top 17,000. And then even if you're like top 12,000, it could be even sold out by then based on people getting two or three packs. So it's going to be a limited drop as well. But I think this one's looking pretty good to at least break even with a good chance to actually make some money on this drop, which we haven't seen in a while on Top Shot. So these are great things all around for both these drops, in my opinion. Uh, stay tuned for the membership in the channel, and I'll be putting out those spreadsheets in there for you guys that are joined up to the membership when these pack contents come out, probably tomorrow morning for the WNBA. Could be Wednesday or Thursday even for the conference finals and then there were four top shot packs so stay tuned for that hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did please consider subscribing like the video leave a comment what you think about all this and i'll catch you guys in another one